Over the next hundred years, the world faces an amazing challenge, which is to live sustainably on planet Earth with 7.3 billion people now and soon to be 8 billion and then 9. Energy and understanding how to provide the world's people with abundant and relatively inexpensive energy is, to my mind, the key factor that is going to make or break society's ability to deal with this challenge. And so being able to figure out how to change how we extract energy from the world around us and supply it to humans, to me that is the grand challenge for humanity and it's something that's so important for ANU as the National University of Australia to have as a central theme in our work going forward. Well, our central scenario has energy demand growing by approximately one third, and that reflects the growth in demand for energy services essentially outside OECD countries, particularly in the countries of developing Asia. Government policies and actions have a very clear role in how those energy trends grow, the energy sources that are used to meet those energy demands, and of course the link between emissions and those energy sources. The energy sector has to make a key contribution to meeting climate goals, and while we've seen a lot of terrific progress in the last year, perhaps more than we could have reasonably expected, we are still short of where we need to be for that two degree C trajectory. Distributed energy resources will have a major transformational effect on the electric grid as we know it. Just in the same way that we migrated from mainframe computers to desktop to laptops all the way down to wristwatch computers, the same thing will be true of distributed energy resources. The way we generate electricity from renewables at our houses and our homes and our businesses, the way we store electricity when we have a surplus, and the way we consume electricity through energy efficiency, our cell phones, and even our electric vehicles. Energy Update is the flagship event for the Australian National University Energy Change Institute and it uh, brings uh, to Australia the uh, world energy outlook and the aim is to provide an understanding of world energy trends but also to look at the way in which that informs energy developments in Australia. 